Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card that's mostly from the Simon Says Stamp uh, to January 2019 kit. But I'm going to add a couple of other things, like for example this die right here that's from Memory Box. And it's called Frostyville Border. Now it's an intricate die, so you might need a shim, like this rubber one here. Or just some extra pieces of cardstock, which is what I needed. And uh, I mean, I, I needed a shim of some kind. And uh, so it didn't uh, cut out well the first one. I'm just leaving it in to show you that it happens. But then the next time it did just fine. I made some adjustments. And uh, it is a beautiful, intricate die. And I've used it many times. So I've used the poor thing a lot. But it makes a um, beautiful, detailed die cut. And so I will uh, add some Tombow Mono Multi Glue to it, just touching little fine points along the way. And I set it aside to dry because um, I, I want it to be repositionable. Now while that's drying, I'm going to go to the trimmer and cut some strips of paper. And all different sizes, I don't care what the width is, but I do want them to be the same length. And you'll see why. So I add uh, some glue to it. And I will be adding it to this piece of uh, rectangle here, black, and I do want it to line up straight. So after I go back and glue the pieces down, I don't care so much how far apart it's spaced. It's very irregular, but I'd like for it to be straight up and down. So now we're going to stamp with the uh, Snow Much stamp set from Simon Says. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment Snow Much with Onyx Black Ink by Versafine. And I will go back after that and use, they have a little bitty heart stamp in this kit. And I'll use a bright red, a true red color. And put it down at the bottom and I'm considering that that says Snow Much Love. Then I'm going to use one of the penguins. I'm using the smaller penguin. And I'm going to cut it out so I don't need a big piece of paper, just enough to get that design on there. And then for the parts that didn't stamp so well, I'm going back with uh, one of my Millennium pins that's about the right size for what I need. Comes in different widths and coloring in those uh, splotchy places. Now I'm coloring this little beak with two colors of orange. And then I'm going to cut him out. And I won't waste your time watching me cut it out, but I want you to know that I did cut it out. And so then I go around the edges of this rectangle when it's white or a light color. A lot of times I like to do that and uh, with the neutral ink and a sponge. Now I've got these pieces set aside to dry. And one of them that I did stamp that I didn't show is uh, from this Dilution stamp set. And uh, I wanted a border at the top. So that's the stamp down at the bottom that I used. And it just added a little something to the whole thing. Now I cut it originally shorter. And I had to go back and add what I cut off. Because I decided to make the card bigger. And that's the piece I made earlier. I'm showing by peeling that back. That you can see that's the one I made earlier with all the stripes. And I'm going to finish it off with a big black rectangle at the back. I mean, excuse me, at the bottom. I'm going to straighten that up. I'm going to put, I cut another piece of red, a very thin strip of a, the true bright red. And I'm trying to push it right up against uh, the bottom of that other piece to get it to fit nice and flush. And I'll do the same thing with the black to the red. Just get it right up against it and try to keep it straight. And then I'll bring in the uh, intricate die here and uh, place it down there. And that's when I'm glad that I have the repositionable glue so that I can take it up and put it down without worrying about tearing any of those little pieces. And sometimes you have these little, what look like little hairs uh, with a de design like this. And I'm trying to pick those off. So here's the Snow Much Love sign sentiment. And then the little penguin. I'm trying to decide where to place him. 
and then I'll go back and cut off that little extra piece that I had. I cut it too short the first time, and so uh, not only uh, did, did I add the other piece and have to trim it down, I'm also trimming some on the side. And then I go back and trim a little bit off the bottom that wasn't quite right. So, um, just takes a second, and there certainly wasn't much there. So that is the completed card. You could definitely stop there and make a nice card. It's a big card, but you could mail it in a manila envelope, uh, one that's white probably. Um, but I decided I wanted to do something else. It was kind of by accident. I thought, well, it would make a nice big page if I put this on, on a backing regular 8.5 by 11 piece and then I had these little thin strips of red just sitting on my table and I thought those just look as if they would go together well so they're just cut very very thin on the paper trimmer and um, I started playing with them and I really liked that look I just love black and white and red anyway it's a classic and I thought this would be some sort of a I don't know a scrapbook page or the cover of a booklet if you're making it or you could even make kind of a set of these that go together and and frame it or just this one and frame it and hang it on the wall if you had a black and white color scheme but I thought that looked really good the kind of wispy irregular stripes compared to the straight up and down stripes and uh, and that other touch of red so um, I hope you like I liked this a lot it to be as simple as it is uh, I think it's very effective so thank you for watching me I'll show you some steel shots now and you can see how it all developed but uh, and then at the end there will be some other videos you might like to see that there are some with this uh, Simon Says kit so thanks for joining me I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye bye